Hi guys, it's a beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. The time is 6 o'clock in the morning and this is my routine. As you know, we have already produced some 100 ducks and dozens of chickens. And this is what makes life busy because they are asking for food early in the morning. And as you can see, our first batch of the ducks are already big. And we have the second batch, and we have the third batch. And they are already very hungry now. And the food for today is the water spinach and the pellet. Well, this water spinach is just readily available. We don't spend a lot for the food because we can just get this water spinach over there. So please be with me and we're gonna also make a little update about that chicken coop. It's filled with chicken now. Some of the hens are already beginning to lay their eggs. So I will let you see how we're gonna feed these animals now. And I'm so excited to do this thing. Come on, let's do it. We will feed our chicken. Actually, I just decided to feed them separately because they are being overrun by the ducks these ducks can really outbox the chickens that's why i decided to just feed the chickens inside the coop before we're gonna release them we have plenty of chickens already we have more than three dozens actually and i'm so happy that the first batch of these uh, breeders have chicks already so we will proceed and witness what's going to happen there inside. We have close to three dozens already of our breeders and this is a good start already for our chicken farming. And these are the breeds of the Asil mixed with the Zion chickens. Uh, they, they are already native chickens and I'm so happy that we were able now to spot some eggs. And we are still aiming for a bigger chicken coop for our heritage chicken, the Rhode Island this black astrolorp and even this Oppington breed are also one of the best breeds to produce the eggs and uh, this is gonna be the project that we're gonna undertake for this year 2023 I am confident that with this height of chicken coop will make our chicken safety during the flood because uh, I believe that this is already a, a good elevation. When we experience the last flood, it will not rip, reach up to this high. So I'm quite happy with what we have done here. And this is the first chicken coop. And we are going to build another one for the heritage chicken. And then cage for our goats and even other animals like rabbits. So since this is a free range chicken farming, we will allow them, of course, to go out from the coop during the day and we will secure them in this coop during the night because there are many predators there are many lizards and dogs that's why we made a good elevation so that they cannot be reached by the snakes as well so they will just come out and then go back during the afternoon and they're gonna sleep here inside and then 
room around during the day. Come on, come on, come on! If you have decided to raise your ducks, then I think this video is gonna inspire you because this will just cost us a little bit of expenses for the food. If you have this water spinach, of course, you can do a good harvest every day because this water spinach can just grow in 24 hours. If you're gonna cut this area, then after two days, you can go back and make another harvest. So the water spinach is not actually difficult to produce. And if we're gonna combine this with the azola, then that's a perfect mixture for our feeding. So I will make a sound to alert them that they're gonna eat their breakfast already. And I'm so happy that some of them are already big. But the ducks are actually competing. I have thrown in here some 10,000 baby catfish and I'm anticipating that when they're gonna grow big, they will surface because it's the characteristics of the catfish that when they are at the younger age, meaning that when they are still one, two or three months old, they are afraid to show off. And the bigger ones, the adult ones are actually the ones that are eating the, the pellet. But I believe that just two months from now, we're gonna be able to see thousands of catfish that will eat our food. And I hope that they can blend with the ducks. And that's gonna be an exciting thing for our visitors. They can come here and feed their catfish. And some of the visitors may like to also grill the catfish and that could be possible. And we will just charge a minimum fee. So this is gonna become the tourist spot, the local tourist spot that our local residents here might enjoy.
And as we are about to complete this boathouse, we're also thinking about, you know, having some place for us to dine together. <laughs> if you will visit here and you decide to dine with me, of course, with our grilled catfish, we can use this area. This is a boathouse that we will enjoy using this as our view deck in order to observe the activities of the fish and even the ducks. And I'm so happy about this. These are simple things that make my life so complete because I don't dream about big things to happen at once. I'm dreaming about small little things that are slowly happening every day that will become big in the future. So I hope guys that you are entertained with this video and if you are not subscribed to this channel, may we humbly ask you to please subscribe and hit that notification bell because we are regularly uploading videos. And if you will subscribe, of course, you will be notified of our future uploads only here at Dexter's World.